Well, good morning. It's day 16. Some uh, little condensation in the tent early in the morning. We had an early morning coffee, feeling pretty good. Do not want to go outside because of the skeeters, but it's still pretty cold out, so I think we're going to be okay until we leave. Gabrielle had a sad had a sad dream about Scout last night. Yeah. Yeah. But besides that, it was a super chill night. A bunch of people, I mean, there must be like at least, I would say three tents. We can see two of them. I've seen two, probably another one. They came in came into our camp just before it got dark. It was like 8.30. 8.30, so um, we'll try and be a little quiet, but once we start shaking the Tyvek, it's game over for them. It's time to get up. <laughs> All right, good morning at day 16. All right, well, we're on the trail, just leaving campsite right now. You can see there's tents and people all around us. Ganesha's right here. And uh, good morning. Where is he? There he is. He's getting ready. Oh, all right. So it's a beautiful morning. Let's see if I look out back there. Mosquitoes are not out yet, which has been fantastic. So we'll see how long it actually lasts. So we have a 1300 foot climb to Lake Virginia. So we're gonna hike up the canyon a little bit. And then we're gonna take a hard left. She said there's a bunch of switchbacks on the map. <laughs> so. But really, that's the only big climb we have of the day. So it's fantastic. We're gonna get it done. So we're, then we're gonna have breakfast at the lake, which would be great. But it's still pretty chipper, man. I can feel it. So we're not gonna have mosquitoes for a while here. Oh, a bunch. Oh, those are nice campsites. Whoa. They're not dirty either. They're more um, kind of woody. Probably tons of mosquitoes though. All right, first water crossing coming up here. Not bad. Just do some rocks. I'll try not to trip with the camera in my hand here. Oh, oh. Did okay. All right, so once we get up to Lake Virginia, we're gonna have breakfast. And then it's kind of up and down, uh, but going down. Uh, for the rest of the day and actually into Red's Meadows. So our plan then is to get within five miles of Red's Meadows to get there tomorrow by lunch, resupply, relax, have some good food. So that's kind of the plan for the day. So keep you informed. Hike on. Right away, we walk up to the bridge, whatever. Man, early morning, it's without the snow melt. I think it's just rushing. When I was younger, we never had all these bridges. We just had to figure it out. Woo! That's cold! It's a very similar bridge to what was bent. Wow, look at that. What a great way to start the day! Woo! Hey, hey, this bridge, this bridge is just like the one that was all bent up. Uh, it's a little bit more heavy duty though. Big heavy duty? To yeah. Talk. Now you know you're probably right because we were able to get our hand around it and everything. Yeah. But the same kind of thing where you can walk on the side of it. But yeah, there, it is heavier. Man, that's a great way to start the day, huh? Oh man, that water. It's a, it's a cold morning. Yeah, we, well, I have my frog talk on. I look like a clown. But it doesn't keep it warm. I'm sure we'll warm up here pretty soon as we start climbing. We've been hiking. Tim Bear must have split here. I don't think this is too different, really. Could be. We've been just hiking along the river going up, so we haven't 
started switchbacks up beside you. We are definitely, you know, gaining. Ah. So these rivers, streams, um, this is not the one that we came down yesterday. This is one from this canyon. Then there's a canyon that we came down. <clears throat> and then further down the canyon, I saw another, from like way up high, another massive stream coming down cascading going into this one too so it's like man these streams just build 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 it's an amazing amount of water so we left camp about seven o'clock today alarm went off at 5 30 we're like ah oh, it's dark it's cold just kind of laid there and talked a little bit oh well, i got And then uh, we made our coffee, slowly kind of packed, we're having our coffee. So it's a relaxing morning. And then we slowly discovered all these tents around us. <laughs> so, that's, I mean, they were like right by us, it's kind of weird. So I got a little later start, but that's all right. We don't really have a, there's no, we don't need to get to a pass. Oh, hold on, I gotta go underneath this walk here. Like we don't need to get to a pass where the snow is melting. That's really what causes the urgency in the morning. So we get there when the snow is all icy for our micro spikes. So that's what's happening now. It's a gorgeous day. Whew. So we've reached a little valley area, or kind of flattened out. There's a couple really big pools. I can't tell if there's any fish in here right now. The sun's just not right, but, oh yeah, I can see further down the stream. Yeah, after just cruising in the water. My sunglasses are polarized, so I can see really good into the water. Such a nice, such a nice stream. Not quite so loud. Really nice. Like that. Very relaxing, huh? Good hike. Good morning. Big trail uh, intersection. We got McGee Pass. Keep going up the river. Purple Lake, which is where we're going. To our well, my left and Silver Pass, where we came from. We were actually hiking literally right next to the stream there for a little bit. Surprised it didn't just plow over into the trail, but it didn't. It's kind of nice. So I think now is when the switchbacks actually start because we're leaving the stream. Whew. Wow. You can see the See the meadow down there. Probably get a better view, but it's it's awesome. Whew. We have some nice morning flowers right here. Wow. Got some onions? That's where all the purple is. Oh. Woo! Sure most of that's onion flowers. <sighs> Got water flowing through there. Gosh. Water. Fish Creek. It's about right. Woo! Well, we, gotta, we gotta be starting our ascent here pretty quick. Keep getting these little fake switchback things. And I, no, 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 not yet, but pretty soon we gotta start going up. Yep. Pretty much right here. That's what I'm thinking. Well, as you're going up the trail, we're of course starting to see more and more of the valley below. 
and some of the peaks this morning. Incredibly beautiful. We have a valley down there. So nice. That looks really interesting. Pass right there. I, I don't know if that's a hiking pass or not, but that's pretty cool looking. Well, we are clearly on the switchbacks coming up from the valley floor there. And uh, Gabbro is leading the way. She's crushing it. Somehow, I don't know, but we got to get up and over these things. I really don't know how much further we have. We're doing good. Just kind of cruising. It's, it's just 8 o'clock. So, the sun's out, but it's not, it's not killing us. So, that's good. Mosquitoes aren't really an issue on this hill. There's G. Somewhere. There she is. Yoo-hoo! Good job, G. Well, we're at the, what I think is the saddle here. Super flat area. Let's see, we're... We're up over 10,000 feet, we're about 10,002 right now. So we've climbed significantly already this morning, which is great. Past uh, some Asian couple, don't know where they're from. They did not speak English. He spoke a little bit. Gabriel asked them where they're headed and he said, thank you. So that's, uh, we see multiple Asian couples in, I don't know, what kind of small groups. Uh, this trip, I've never seen that before, so I don't know where they're from, Taiwan, mainland China, I don't know, it's really different. This is a beautiful morning. Well, this lake is supposed to be pretty big, so it's going to be epic when we drop into, drop into it. So I don't know if you can see this, but uh, through the trees there is the lake. It's been beside us for a little bit, it's a big lake. So, we're kind of skirting it right now. And uh, I think we're gonna go down to lake level here. It's a big lake, it's not big round, it kind of takes a turn to the right. Some kind of trail marker on the tree, Gabriel said. Here we go, old, oh, you can barely see it, but that's the PCT crest right there. Thankfully, nobody's pulled that off the tree. We've hardly seen any of those here in uh, in Oregon, where we've done most of our PCT hiking. Uh, they have them on the trees all over. Most of them are the metal ones now, the, the color. But we're putting up putting them up about nine feet in the air. So you're gonna have to get on a ladder or on somebody's shoulders to rip them off. So that kind of helps. Now, I think you can actually buy those too at the PCT website. So if you really want one bad, you can do that. All right, now we're starting to get a view. You're part of the lake. Just past a group of guys, I don't know where they're from, probably of European descent. It's incredible, the, just the country and the internationality of the trail right here. Finally caught up with Gabrielle. Okay, another epic view. those mountains i was hoping we get a picture of those going up the valley but i we turned the corner but now we get to see them again yeah. i don't know what range that is but that is cool. spectacular well oh, bunch of yahoos yucking it up down in front of us <laughs> say hi to the, the people doing the high sierra is that what those that, that's that's what they said they're doing oh the high that's sierra what the route. trip is yeah 
Oh. Yeah. Do you know where they're from? They sound like they may be from around Germany or something. Yeah, I was maybe? thinking, I was thinking like Northern maybe? Europe. Yeah, but gosh, I'm just amazed at all the different countries. Well, after dinner or lunch, we'll have to figure out all the different countries and areas of the world, people we met. All with big smiles on their face. Yeah, the trail, look at the sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of icy. All right, that's the lake. You know, we're kind of in the second lake area here. There's like another lake expanded. Uh, we got across that. Ah, I don't want to get my feet wet. It's freezing out. Woo! I assume we go up over that, but I really don't know where we're gonna go this afternoon. Rocks should be changing today. We should be ending up in pumice, very volcanic, bubbly type rocks. Gosh, I can't believe how sparkly that is. It's gorgeous. All right, somehow we're gonna do our best. That is a great shot. I'm in the trail right now. Gabrielle probably did the smart thing, took her shoes off, but uh, yeah, literally I am on the trail right now. It's nice and sandy on the bottom. So this is, we had to do this twice, without maybe once. Okay, back on saw ground. Oh yeah, trail runners are saturated early morning. How you doing there, G? Watch out for the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. All right, it's time for some breakfast somewhere around here. Yes. Maybe get up on some sand up here or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Look, okay, Gabriel got his shoes on. Found this little cool spot here. The lake's right here. And then, uh, Look at the rock, colors in the rocks. Ooh, 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 but pretty neat, huh? I think we're gonna see all sorts of interesting rock formations and all that today. And we're having our breakfast right here. Well, we're having breakfast. Or a few little skeeters around. They're like the little ones though. And they, they come in swarms. It's like there's nothing right now. And then all of a sudden they're like all over. It's, it's kind of weird. So they don't have any self-control. They fly right in your face. So anyways, going to have some tasty granola right in here. It's kind of hydrating some water. Thank you, Chris, for that. And as well as the also nice little beef stick as well. Probably going to have something else. I'm pretty hungry this morning. What do you have? Do you, you have the granola also? Mm-hmm. And then I'll put this in it. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that's going to be tasty. I put that on the tortillas. Yeah. And that was good. Um, so we're kicking back here, and then uh, we're not sure exactly what direction the trail goes. It's a pretty, uh, there's, there's this, I'll say, relatively significant number of people at this lake. There's a group just past us. We can see them down there. There's another group, like in the trees. And, of course, we have people we met down the trail that could have camped here as well. Mm -hmm. So it's... Okay, we're checking out the map situation now. Mm -hmm. So we just left breakfast pretty late. It's about 9.45. We have 11 miles to go to where our objective is. It's called The Bench. Uh, tons of camping spots. I'm envisioning this giant no trees bench where you can see everything. Should be epic camping spot and there's water close by. Uh, so until then though, we. We kind of passed through a series of lakes, so we're hiking up a little bit. Then we're going to drop into 
Is it Purple Lake? Yes. Purple Lake. What, what lake are we at right now? Virginia. Oh, Virginia Lake. That's right. Okay. So, so we're going to go up for a little bit. I'm going to go down for a little bit. Then we're going to go up for a little bit and repeat until we get to the bench. That's kind of the deal for today. Feeling pretty bloated after a big, uh, big breakfast. All that granola tends to do that to me. But I'm not hungry. I'm not like not filled up, so I keep eating stuff. And then I'm like, oh man, I'm really full right now. So, so I'll say goodbye to this lake for now. Virginia Lake. So we made it over this little ridge. Kind of opening up into a whole nother little valley there. Different nose to rocks, changing out all different color rocks. It's pretty cool. Love seeing all that ecosystems change and the rock formations change. That's gonna be pretty cool. So this is kind of a unique little canyon that we don't typically see. You know, it's just kind of going down and our trail is just like right on the edge. And then it must, must open up right up here. So it's kind of more of the same. What? More of the same. Well, I can see some kind of trail on the other side of the canyon. Right there? Yeah, kind of going up. Is that ours? Yeah. Yeah, kind of flat. Yeah. Maybe it's ours. All right. Like going. There's a no name lake. Yep. No name lake. It's below us. Look at the color of that water. I don't know what it picks up in the phone, but it's like a, what, an emerald color? That looks really nice. Wow. All right, hike on. Well, we're coming into Purple Lake. Not sure why it's called Purple just yet. It's a good sized lake. I can hear the outlet to my left. I'm wondering if we're gonna cross that to continue on. It's really, really beautiful. Well, I am down at the lake, water level. A little bit of green stuff in the bottom of the lake. It's really pretty. Purple lake. I don't see anybody camping here so I think there's a bridge too so we don't have to forward the stream sounds weird with my left uh, my left shoe on the inside I think when my insole or something's folding up doesn't feel right let's check it out oh, we're coming up this uh, sunny side just grind luckily it's not too steep but that's what we came down from Lake Virginia and we went into Purple Lake. And we got a fantastic view coming up here, uh, I'm sure. Purple Lake is down there. Of course, behind this tree is where we hiked over into Purple Lake. And I don't know what these are, but that is way down in there and way up high. So I'm about 10,200. Those peaks got to be over 11, for sure. So, probably get another view of those, but not really sure. Those are just awesome looking. See some clouds way in the distance. All right, so uh, in, in between where we came from and where we're kind of headed, where we're going to bypass, there's this giant canyon. I really can't get a good picture, but there's like high mountains, probably I'm sure in the 12,000, and then it just goes down into really deep canyons and fishing and stuff like that. And then as you keep going, you, you can barely see it. I wish I could have a better shot, but just kind of this weird 
in between these two massive Sierra ranges. Oh, here we go. There's like this giant canyon right here. So we're going somewhere to the right. Don't know how that's all gonna work out, but wanted to share that because it's kind of interesting. It's just not in one giant range. There's a big valley in the middle of this whole thing. Yeah. All right. So that's the valley down there. And then there's this kind of giant thing of rock, like a bench. I don't think that's the bench that we're gonna be on, but that would be cool. It's the green on the top. And up the canyon now, we just spotted epic water coming down there. I don't know if you can see that's moving, but I'm sure we'll get a closer shot of that. So I guess we're going around here somewhere. So here's that canyon to our right. I don't think we're gonna go up that. I think we're gonna go down it. But uh, here's a, a shot of the, of the stream. Must be a big old lake up there. Oh, maybe we will go up there, don't know. Oh, I see the, oh, the trail's below us. Yeah. All right, so we just passed a sign crossing. I didn't video it for some crazy reason. So we're going toward Red's Meadow. We are not going towards Duck Lake. And what was the other part of that? There was another. What? It was, the sign was to Duck Lake and some other place. Oh, I forget. And then this way is to Red's Meadow. So I think we're gonna go down that canyon a little bit. I don't think we're gonna lose that much altitude, hopefully. I really hope. We don't need a massive bridge. It's really expensive. A couple of rocks will go. Good job, Jay! Now we're in that little cannon pointing down to those peaks. And that giant bench thing is to our right. Whew. Very nice. Well, it's kind of cool. There. Oh, we just keep skirting the, the ridge here and walking on this trail, going up and down a little bit. I don't know, I just think we need another need another video here. What's up? Clouds? What clouds? They're on the other side of that ridge. I don't see them. Oh, barely see them. It might rain in a couple days. So we just finished lunch, super tasty. Had some, we both had some tuna. Tuna with some mayonnaise mixed in. Fritos on the side. I had a Snickers bar. Gabrielle had, what would you had some super good stuff? Yeah, do you have a nutter butter? Nutter butters with extra peanut butter. With extra peanut butter spread. I mean, we've uh, fully hydrated. Oh, we should check. Garmin, I got my phone. Yep. You have your phone? Okay. We don't want to walk back. So we have um, five and a half miles. 5.1. 5.1, sweet. <laughs> Even better. And it is 138. So we'd like to stop at five. So that gives us what, three and a half hours? To do 5.1? I think we could do that. And if not, we'll get there at six. But it's mostly downhill and just rolling, which is very enjoyable hiking, especially the rolling. We love that. Oh, yeah, there are clouds over there. Woo! Let me get a close up. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, the barometer hasn't dropped on my watch. No, it wouldn't be right if we didn't have a thunderstorm or two when we were here. It's been so perfect. So, all right, back on. So, we're noticing we've got the volcanic rocks now, like these big ones. We're starting to run into all, all the time now. So it's kind of like they were just spewed out of the volcano and landed here. 
So you can also see the clouds. It looks like a front. You see it's just a big line of clouds right there. So we get to Red's Meadows tomorrow. We'll just check out the weather, see what's going on. We're fully prepared. No, oh, there you go. So, we can check or, or check yeah, we could do that too. Good. Yeah, that's pretty dramatic. This looks like a yeah. big long line of clouds there. So, yeah, it goes further than I even showed before. Now I can see more. All right. Those guys. Yeah. So just about all the rocks now have changed to like volcanic rocks. The trail and on the side, not completely, but just about everything. You can just tell the terrain is totally changing. The uh, texture of the trail, the dirt is different now. A little more, it's like, I don't know, volcanic sand kind of a thing. Um, it's getting drier also. So, kind of nice and interesting to watch it all change. We're going to do a little check here. We think there's some. You gonna pick some up, G? Let's pick up a random piece. That pumice? We've got pumice! We've got pumice, lots of it. it Wipe those calluses away. Mm -hmm. Apps are definitely very different. Volcanic pumice all over the place here. So that was a pretty quick change once you made that turn. Yeah. yeah. So right here, we don't have the big chunks of volcanic, you know, that we just got jettisoned. This is more the the spit <laughs> and all the pumice rock all over the place, which is going to make for interesting hiking because it's kind of a weird sand that you're hiking on. Very different. Yeah. Very nice forest, though. It's very open. It's really dry, really dry right here though. Glad we have lots of uh, lots of water with us. Well, we're in the Lupin Grove and a bunch of sage also now. Different kind of lupin than we saw. It's not the silver, it's not the stuff we saw, you know, earlier. It's a little drier. Pretty. Really nice, and this has got the sage right here. The sage smells so good. There's such a massive variety of sage, it just blows my mind. Yeah. It's interesting, the lupin can handle, you know, when it's very dry, they can handle when it's really wet also. It seems like they need to have some drainage. Yeah, look at this pretty. Ooh, we got the bee on there and everything. So nice. And we just have some grass blowing in the wind. I see a little greener right around here. Terrain is so different. Isn't it amazing? It just looks so different. There's some wet stuff now, and there's big lupin and flowers. Of course, flies and mosquitoes. Here. Woo. So we just crossed the meadow back there a little ways. It's a little bigger now. A lot of flowers. Ooh, it's gonna open up here even bigger. Just a few skeeters. Ooh, look at the flowers. 
Wow. Now we're rocking in the full on pumice forest here. You can just hear it in our footsteps. Pumice everywhere. I don't even know what these plants are, azaleas that we're walking past. As long as I don't get bit by a mosquito, I'm happy. And we cross the stream and it's back to the pumice desert. getting close to where we're going to camp it's coming up and then the uh, water's like 0.1 mile past where we're going to camp which is good because we don't want to camp where the water is because there'll be a lot of bugs there so we found the bench but the bench was not uh, all that impressive and there was a few bugs there we kept walking to like up a hill a little bit further. We found this cool little spot right here, which actually kind of has a nice view, nicer view. We can see some things back there in the distance. I'm thinking like right here. I'm not quite sure yet, a little tired. You gotta think about it, right? So here's our campsite for the night of day 16. We're, we're pretty sure it's 16, not 100 percent sure. <clears throat> and we still have four days left or something like that. I have a text from mother. Oh, so Gabrielle is fit, working. We actually have cell covers rare up here in the middle of freaking nowhere <laughs> on a hilltop. And uh, we're trying to figure out uh, the best way to get home because we, we, we kind of know now how long it's going to take us to get out and stuff like that. So... Gabriel's hard at work texting with Katrina. She was doing all the search searching work for us. All right, good night from day 16. It's Craig and Gabrielle. I think that's her. <laughs> anyway, so today was a really amazing day. We woke up and it was kind of cold. We were, we were relaxed. So we had uh, had a nice cup of coffee. It was super, super chill. But then we didn't get out of camp. What was, what was it like? You said seven or something? Like seven. Seven. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it was good. And then we hiked up. Well, tell us about the hike. We hiked yeah. up um, to Virginia Lake. There's just a lot of like, I don't know, nice switchbacks up to the top. Yeah. How many how many thousands of feet was that thing? It was only like thirteen hundred feet. Oh, okay. That's not really thousands. No, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> and then, like, the higher you got, the more you got, like, the view of the meadow that was down below. Oh, yeah. That was really pretty. That, no, that was cool. There's a lot of water in that thing, too. Yeah, that was, I think that, that was Fish Creek. Awesome. Yeah, Fish Creek. So, yeah, so it was a nice, it was a yeah. nice hike up. Yeah, and then, uh, then we just kind of, kind of cruised. So it was different because we got to, we got to just like cruise on the trail. It wasn't like you have to go up to a pass or go down or, or we didn't have to plan for the entry of the next pass. Although we didn't have to plan for the entry into Red's Meadows tomorrow. So we did do that. So we're, what did you say, five, 5.1 miles or something? No, we're like 4.2 miles. Oh, wow. So, so what does that mean? That means that basically we only have like two hours of hiking. And? Until we get to eat. Yes, we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna eat at Red's Meadows, which is uh, supposed to be really expensive though. 
but I, I don't I don't know what that really means though. We're, but we'll we'll report back on that. Yeah. So um, yeah. So and we started actually making tonight. Our oh wait wait before we talk about that, um, the hike was really cool because we saw all sorts of different rocks. We saw the granite kind of turns a slate, and we got there's this pumice everywhere, and it affects the trail and how it you know this looks and everything. And uh, it was dry, but then we had these like really green. Like areas that were just full of mosquitoes yeah, where the waters like where the where the creeks were flowing, they needed just like all of this green and wet and then yeah. mosquitoes. But yeah. There was really cool um like gray quartz. It was almost like mixed with the slate or something oh, like that. It was super that. cool looking. I kept looking for like the perfect rock to pick up and of course I never picked up anything. But I have one piece of quartz and one piece of pumice. Oh well, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah, so the, the rock stuff was was actually pretty cool today. That was uh, very, very unique. So, so then, uh, oh, oh, I got a skeeter in my tent. That's a no no. Did you get it? I don't know. It's still really light out, so I'll be able to get it. Oh, dang. That's a no no. Yeah, yeah, what's really interesting is the mosquito. There were hardly any mosquitoes where we were camping. And then when it got cooler, they started to come out. It's the exact opposite of what it <laughs> So my theory is that where they were before down in the in the, the greenery, it's actually already cold there. And so they moved up to where it's warmer, which is where we're at. Oh, that's yeah. that, that sounds pretty legit to me. That sounds like it could be plausible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. so what was that? Oh, so Gabriel, you started to help planning our exit with mom right oh well yeah you wanted to you wanted me to ask mom about the rental car stuff road trip for the road trip home and because she was looking up up all that with yeah. the different companies and um but but yeah so that sounds like what we're gonna do considering the amtrak is already booked <laughs> yeah and we could we could do the non-economy and how much how much is that six hundred dollars okay i've been in one of those those little boxes before i don't know how they can charge six hundred dollars who would pay six hundred dollars for that it was it was uncomfortable but i'm actually i personally am really glad because sitting up all night in a chair in a train is uh that's like worse than a than a red eye on a uh, on an airplane not she doesn't know because she's never done. i've taken i've taken the train that goes from london all the way to paris before was that overnight it was like eight hours or something <laughs> you know i could see you right yeah. oh there's the mosquito oh my <laughs> it's actually a pretty serious matter uh yeah, anyway, so that that's the but we don't have all the details work out because there's there's buses and there's people and regulations. So it's it's pre pretty complicated exit. But yeah, because uh, once, you, once we get into Yosemite Valley, we have to shower, eat, find out where we're camping and then yeah, and so we have to make make it in at a decent time of day to yeah. do all that and then our bus probably leaves at 9 a.m the next morning yeah so and then i don't i don't i don't think everything is close by in the valley yeah either. yeah so when it, so i think like our campground in the shower i think will be closer but then i have no idea where like places to eat are yeah so we might we might just like we probably might eat at camp on the morning Oh yeah, that's if we can. yeah. If we can't just you know, if we can get to like a grocery store, come on, eyes look cross-eyed right there. Something pop tart. <laughs> oh yeah. So G and I decided we have not had ramen on this trip because all the you know good backpacker meals have been available. Uh, oh, you have. I don't, I, maybe I did at the very beginning. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, that's, by the way, that's kind of our campsite, right? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so we're going to get ramen. We're going to we're gonna get candy bars. 
I did have two Snickers. I had the second one today. Man, those are good. I think I brought, I've had a Milky, I've had one Milky Way and one Snickers. Oh, shit, where are you? There you are. So. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to load up on good, on good quality food. Because if you, actually, because if you look at the details of the candy bars and stuff, there's not a whole lot of difference with protein bars and yeah, stuff not like that. There's a lot of difference between it's, that and yeah. a Cliff bar. It's probably less ingredients. Yeah, less ingredients. You probably, it is. I bet you it is. Probably. Yeah, but there's usually not, there's usually a lot more sugar. But we really don't care about that on the trail, though. We're burning... A lot of calories, which brings us to the stats. Stats. All right, I have 21,000 steps. Wow, I have 30,000. Yeah, yeah. I use, well, I, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what to do with the steps. So. You know, sometimes we match. We did do some uphill. I used my trekking poles. I, 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 I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, calories, I have just over 3,500 calories. What do you have, G? 3,200. So pretty close. Yeah. Actually. That's pretty good, though. So, anyways, that's our stats. Um, anything else? That's about it. Yeah, you know, I thought it seemed like you know we were kind of coming to a close, and it was really sad. It, you know, it'd be great to be home too and work on all the AI stuff and see mom and see our cats and all that. But, but then I realized that. Oh, it's still pretty far away to Yosemite. Yeah. We got to get four days worth of food basically tomorrow. Yes. So we have, you said 80 something miles or 100? No, 58. 58. This round, miles. Okay, this round up to over 100. We got like 100 miles left. So, you know, um, we're not that, we're not that, that actual close. So that kind of makes me feel a little bit better. So that's good. Because we actually really are enjoying it, even though it's kind of hard sometimes. And you know what's one? I mean, stop and restart. What I'm finding is that we're we're seeing we're passing a lot of people now that have started from Yosemite, and and man, they they it's like, it's like they have like no you clue. No idea what you're, you're in for. Yeah, they're like going on this little hike, but some are pretty scared about the bridge and stuff like that. So we talked to them about that, but they but it's just like, man, I don't know. I feel that we were mentally like we, i didn't feel like we had a more realistic uh you know yeah. understanding that like, listen this is going to be hard yeah, okay hard. snow ice you and know you would have done it, <laughs> they're like oh it's august it's gonna be great i'm like so we've already been on the trough for like two or three days you know or whatever and it looks good i'm like so, anyways, all right, enough of that. So, uh, that's it for uh, day 15? 16. 16. All right, we'll see you tomorrow for day 17. Good night. Day 16, August 9th. Fish Creek to Upper Crater Meadow area, four miles to Red's Meadow. Another cold morning, enjoying coffee in our tents. We were feeling pretty sleepy, so our start was slower and other people came into our campsite area around 8.30 last night, so we had to be more quiet in the morning. I'm really loving the mornings, relaxing, coffee before getting ready, the crisp hiking before it gets hot, and no mosquitoes if it's colder too. The air feels more blue too. Pictures in the morning are my favorite. We left camp at seven, a little late for us, and hiked up to Virginia Lake for breakfast. It was a huge lake, calm with some fish jumping. Alas, there were mosquitoes, but nothing too bad. Then we went up to Purple Lake and then hugged the side of the valley, but above it this time. The trail was a lot different today. We had more small climbs and some flat and downhill, very different than the usual uphill towards a pass or down into a lake or valley, then back up. We finished hiking at 4 p.m. and got 14 miles done. Not bad at all. It's weird we are already going to Red's Meadow tomorrow and we're only four miles away from it. We had cell signal when we were camped, so I was able to text mom a bit about our trip home. Looks like we'll, we will be taking a rental car from Merced. Hard to believe we only have a few more days left. It's really been an amazing trip with so many new challenges. The trail rocks were really different today. They changed from granite to some gray quartz, slate, and pumice and back and forth. A lot of the trail was more dry too. Cool to see new things around each corner.